One of the reasons we need tissues is that as we age, our uh, tissues fail and wouldn't it be nice to actually replace them instead of taking drugs for the rest of our lives. 3D printing allows you to make tissues that are actually the same shape as the defect that the patient has. Well, if we can actually make tissues, not only we can transplant them into people and actually fix their diseases, but also we can use these tissues outside the body to be able to test drugs on patients and on the tissues of the patients and to be able to see if a drug is going to be useful or not. And this allows for uh, us to be able to make any kind of therapy specialized to that individual person. Now, the advantage of being at UCLA is that there is a great medical school and engineering school that are co-located, so we can actually work between these two different entities and then um, actually solve many major problems. We use um, patient samples as well as lots of the biological expertise of the medical school, and at the same time, we use um, the expertise of the engineering school in making devices as well as being able to make materials. And I think um, our research really uh, bridges the two, and this is one of the things I'm very excited about. Well, I think we are still need to deal with a lot of challenges in making these tissues. How do we make them the right functionality? How do we make them from the cells of the patient? And how do we actually generate these tissues so that they can be implanted into patients and mimic their natural behavior over long periods of time? So those are challenges that we're working on and I'm sure with time we'll be able to solve all of them. My name is Ali Khadam Hosseini and this is how I engineer change.